Hey guys, this is James White with Freakin' Reviews, where I specialize in as seen on TV product reviews and more. Now today I'm doing the Lizard Cam, which is a micro inspection cam. It doesn't really work as advertised. Let's check it out in today's review. All right, quick overview of the contents, not much to it. There is a power button. This is the display when the screen comes on. You got your long cable here. There's a camera on the end. There's also three attachments. Hook, mirror, magnet. Takes four AA batteries, not included. Let's get some batteries in here and fire this thing up. Let's hit the on button. Oh, we got a nice display, that's good. And there I am. All right, what do you guys think about this? Oh, I'm noticing there's, there's lights on the end of it. That's kind of cool. Uh, the color doesn't look too bad. Really, it's, I mean, it's a little bit dull, but I'm not expecting high-end video, as long as you can see. I think it's certainly acceptable. All right, the first thing I'm gonna try to do is this vent right here, because they show that in the advertising. I wanted to see if it'll fit through these openings. And, I mean, it kind of does, but I don't know if I have a hard time. Oh, I guess it kind of does. Well, let's just do it. All right, I'm going to show you what I'm seeing here. I mean, I can, it's hard to really control it once I get that high up. It's definitely up there. It's a little bit hard to control. It's kind of hitting and things. I think if I had my hand up in there, I may, might be able to control a little bit better. But I can definitely see, I mean, I've noticed that if I, if I have the screen off to the side, it's hard to, everything kind of reverses. But I can definitely see, you can see me pulling it out of there. What I just found out is our vents are actually a little bit cleaner than I expected, so I'm pretty happy about that actually. Let's see what's next. I recently did a product called the Lint Lizard, which you clean the lint out of there, but I want to see how much lint's left over by using the Lizard Cam. We have the Lint Lizard, now the Lizard Cam. Let's check that out. There it goes. Let's see what we got in here. There's some lint. Now it's a little bit difficult to control. I'm expecting to see like Pennywise or something down there, but I'm not really seeing as much lint as I expected, but the lint lizard seemed to do a pretty good job. So yeah, I mean it works, but right now I'm thinking maneuvering is a little bit difficult. Let's keep going. All right, everybody's favorite. Let's go underneath this fridge and see what's underneath there. I have no idea what I'm gonna find. Could be creatures, could be food, dust, probably dog hair. Let's see. Like I said, it's easier just to turn the display than to try to turn the camera. Oh, there we go. That looks, it looks kind of creepy in there, doesn't it? It's a lot cleaner underneath there than I expected. Oh, what's that? Oh, we see something. It is a peanut. There is a peanut under my fridge. There's a few other chunks down there. What is that, crumbs? It, not pretty. Dog hair. What is that? There's a fuzzy chip under the fridge. How about this? Oh, no, I'm not eating that. Yes, we do have fireplaces out in the desert. Don't be surprised about that. I see light. I feel like the top of the camera is kind of wobbling around a lot. It's kind of hard for me to really control it because it's doing this. Um, and maybe when you're going straight up, it's going to be more difficult if you're going down or going horizontally. Because going up, it's, you can see it's kind of falling over. I mean, that's as much control as I have over it. But it does work. So I can see up there, but controlling it, not so easy. Hey, while we're here, let's check out what's inside this acoustic base I have. It looks very dusty in there. It's weird, the inside of my acoustic base is dustier than underneath my fridge. I don't, I don't wanna know what that is. There's something inside there, I don't know what it was. We're not gonna worry about it though. All right, I've been using the Lizard Cam for a couple days now, and so far it's pretty good, except for the fact that it's kinda of hard to maneuver. But I wanted to ask the opinion of a friend of mine. His name is Justin, he's known as a fabricator on YouTube, and he's pretty well known for building stuff and tearing it apart and he would probably have a use for something like this. So I want to go see what his opinion of it is. He only knows that I'm coming over. He doesn't know what I'm bringing. So it'll be interesting to see what Justin says about this. 
And by the way, this is unrelated to lizard cam, but I'm currently wearing the Tac Glasses Blue, which I found at a Fry's here. It's not advertised. I didn't even see a website for it. And I'm not going to do a dedicated review of it, but I've already done two other Tac Glasses. I have the regular Tac Glasses, which I did almost a year ago. I have the Tac Glasses Night Vision, which I also did earlier this year. And I have this Amazon pair of sunglasses that looks a lot like it, but I did it in one of my mail time videos. But these Tac Glasses Blue are actually not too bad. I don't think that they, I think they actually are better than the regular Tac Glasses. So if you happen to see them versus the Tac Glasses, I would get these. These are more pleasant, they're not as dark as the other Tac Glasses. So even though I'm not doing a dedicated review of Tac Glasses Blue, I do think they're pretty good. Justin. James freaking White. What's going on, man? What's How up, you doing, man? man? Good. Hey, yeah. I got this item here. It is called the Lizard Cam. It's an As Seen on TV product. Fancy name and color for a boroscope. A boroscope? A boroscope. If you could just, you know, maybe use it for a minute and tell me what you think about it. If you use something like this before. Yeah, well, I mean, we use them all the time in, uh, you know, like auto repair and stuff like that. I mean, it, well, actually, I got, a, I got an engine back here, but. Okay. Basically, take it and. Uh, so you need to look inside of an engine or something like that. Yeah. This one doesn't have any pistons in it. But if you wanted to see what the inside of it looked like, you're looking for blockage, you're looking for conditions of parts or anything like yeah. that, you know, you can, you can feed them down the backside here. And so how, how does this compare to the, uh, the other ones you've used before? Well, to be like, quite honest with you, I mean, it looks similar. Okay, so if I wanted to inspect, like, so let's see these valves here. Yeah. Take a look at them. These are kind of opened and sitting dirty for a while but yeah if I wanted to look at that or something like that but normally once you start snaking this through an engine you don't really have that control over it but you don't really have that under many other ones either so it's, yeah it's about the same but stick it right up the tailpipe <laughs> oh there we go <laughs> um, it's kind of clear but <laughs> it got blurry when you got real close to it I guess yeah, yeah. well to be fair here we would be Kind of inspecting this and looking at it from say from afar but if i wanted to get into like look at say the, like the cylinder walls or the conditions of those it might be a little uh difficult to maneuver and control it there's no way to focus it either so you're kind of stuck with how what is that a few inches maybe uh, it might be about a half inch maybe three quarters oh, oh inch. that close okay yeah but still that close sometimes we need to get really close and i that's, see uh, not very accurate yeah the LCD is like you got to have it at just the right angle. Yeah, I've noticed that when you tilt it like this way, it, it kind of almost reverses on you. Yeah, it's very strange. It's a. Uh, I mean, it works. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, check this out. Here are two YouTube plaques for his channel, the Fabrication Series, hundred thousand subscribers. The Fabrication Series, hundred thousand subscribers. Which one is real and which one did he make? Can you tell? That's how good he is. <laughs> That's the fake one. He made this himself. Pretty impressive. All right, so you say you already have something kind of like that. What is, what is this you're yeah, showing this me? Yeah, is, this is a super long lead, but uh, it's a USB boroscope. It's like 12 bucks. I mean, I already broke it. You, okay, that goes in your USB and then, yeah. does it have LED lights on the end too? Absolutely. Okay. And there, the adjustable brightness is on the side. Oh, wow. So you get a little knob for your brightness control. The focus on it's really good. It doesn't have the uh, the flexibility like the uh, like the other one for it to stay still, but yeah, it's not terrible. For twelve bucks, it's for pretty 12 good. Bucks, it's, yeah, you know, yeah, it works. All right, so we've we've been trying this out for a little bit here, Justin. What are your final thoughts on the lizard cam? It works. I mean, if you could, if it was a little clearer on the vision, mm -hmm. like in the LCD, if you didn't have to move it around so much to get that right shot or whatever, but yeah, oh, it works. Is it worth forty dollars? Forty bucks. <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I thought that was like a 10, 12 dollars. Yeah, it it's 40 bucks. <laughs> 40 bucks? Um, I'd, I'd probably look into something a little better for 40 bucks. What does something like this cost for like the higher end like that you would be using? Oh, they can get into several hundred. Oh, but, really? Yeah. But even, I mean, I, I, I would, just me thinking here, but I'd rather think I'd get like the USB thing that plugs into my cell phone for the boroscope attachment. Oh yeah, they have those too, huh? Because that's like $12 and if it sucks, you can buy another one and see, it's still less than that. See, the prototype of this one was actually $20 and it used your smartphone instead of this screen. And that almost seems like it's a better, better than paying I'd 40. I would rather have that. Yeah, that might, yeah. that might have been better. All right, well, thanks for Justin. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go back home and do some more tests, but I really appreciate you helping me out with this. You got it, man. All right, thanks. We'll see you. Appreciate it, man.
<laughs> We're gonna walk across the street and see what another expert here thinks. This is just your color too. It's Area 51. Nice. Three. I like it. <laughs> wait, till you, wait till you use it. Alrighty. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Ah. <laughs> Are you trying to focus it by pushing it away from yourself? <laughs> Something like that. I'm trying to get in there, but it's not working too good. Now you you use something like this already, right? I do, but the little cord is like flimsy. This cord or the, your cord? No, no, the one I was using. This one's cool because you can you know kind of maneuver. Oh, so you like it? it? I do. I okay. do. Okay, cool. It might be the same camera as the other one. The quality, I think, is about the same. So the, you think the quality is about the same, but the cord because it's, oh, it's yeah. bendable, you oh, like that? Oh, sure, yeah. yeah. As opposed to the one that's, one, you that's pretty much have no control over. It. It's just kind of dangling in there. Oh, okay. You gotta move it around to, you know, where you want it to be, but this is definitely a lot more helpful. Oh, cool. Yeah. So I paid uh, $40 for that. Do you think that's a good price for it? Yeah, definitely. Oh, really? I mean, it, this would get the job done, you know, uh, for sure. Mo most things, I'd say about 90% of what you really needed to do, um, it would definitely achieve that. You'd really pay 40 bucks for that thing? <laughs> Maybe 30. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, he's down, now, he's, now he's haggling down to 30. Know, right? <laughs> you always got to try. You know, maybe. <laughs> All right, well, hey, you buy it then. <laughs> All right, thanks again. All right, no right. problem. Here I am stuck in traffic on the way home from Justin's. Now, I, I'm kind of glad that I got two different opinions. Justin wasn't real thrilled about it. He thought it was a bit overpriced. He thought it was a little bit hard to get it oriented, which I have a problem with the orientation myself. But Ivan, the mechanic across the way, actually, for what he was using it for, said he actually found it useful because you could bend the end of the tip and it wasn't so floppy like the one he uses. He thought it was a pretty good deal. So I'm kind of glad I got different opinions. I think this is one of those things that depending on who you are and how you're using it will determine on if this is something that's right for you or not. So head back home, some more tests to do. I wanted to quickly touch on the attachments that are included. They have a hook attachment, a magnet attachment, and a mirror attachment. I think the mirror is kind of the least useful of these. I guess if you were going somewhere where you couldn't get around a corner, it might be useful. But there's threading on here, and all you do is just screw them on. Now with the mirror attachment, you don't actually notice it. All you see is the mirror, uh, as far as the mirror one goes. So there, there might be some limited use for that. Now with the magnet attachment, as you can see, as I'm moving around, it really obstructs a pretty big percentage of the picture. So you kind of have to know where you're going. On the other hand, it does work pretty well. It's a, it's a pretty good magnet. So I'm not disappointed as far as how strong the magnet is. It's just, I guess there's no way to get around it obstructing your view. With the hook attachment, you do see the hook, but it doesn't obstruct quite as much as the magnet does. So what if I drop something like this clip in the in and out mop, which is full of water? I'm also going to test out how waterproof it is. Now let's see if I can fish that thing out of there. Okay, we're underwater. That's pretty hard to maneuver sight unseen. Now, if you can see it, it's a whole different story. Oh, I got it. Look. I got it. I can tell it's hooked on there. Oh, he did it. It took a bit. It's a lot harder sight unseen than it is looking in there, but it did work. I would think this would be easier for drains where you don't have as much room. But And the other thing I was testing is that it does work underwater. It seems to be no worse for wear, so that seems to work pretty well too. I'm not really sure I want to do this. It's kind of a dark, stormy night, but do you ever wonder what lives inside your cinder block walls? Well, I'm going to figure it out right now. Here we go. The lizard cam cinder block test. Is there anything in there? Anybody home? Got to straighten this out a little bit. Straight down into the abyss. All right, I'm pretty convinced there's not much down there. It's like the Al Capone vaults here. I expected to see something and it's completely empty. By the way, this is my atomic beam headlight, which I reviewed a while ago. Well, this is all the way down towards the bottom. I'm not really seeing too much. I was expecting to see all kinds of creatures. I don't see anything. 
I'm glad about that. I'm gonna go back inside. All right, so that's all I've got on the lizard cam. As far as the pros go, the light is nice and bright, the magnet strong, and this can be bent, which actually can be quite helpful. And it pretty much works as advertised. As far as the cons go, $40 seems a little bit steep to me, so maybe they'll lower that down the road. Also, when you're holding it straight up, this tends to kind of flop around a little bit. And it can be kind of hard to maneuver between that and having to tilt the screen, that can be a little bit confusing. But otherwise, I think the lizard cam is pretty good. Have you used the lizard cam or something like it? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures and videos as I go. And please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freaking Reviews.